or I let's do one of these little silly videos with everyone in their little workflow thing. But <laughs> we're going to have flow, but no work because I don't know. It, it seems like the um, anyway, if we're like a workflow, it doesn't should be hooked up to something fun. But anyway, that's what we're doing today. And let's just go make a couple of nice espressos and see how much fun it is. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's just do a couple of little free formers here. We're out here on the cart. We're just going to go simple. Now these are good for this sometimes if you use the hand grinder. It helps you um, regulate the coffee so it doesn't like fly out in a big plop. And, um, and it's a little uncontrollable. The Musa with the ebony wood. Pretty cool. There we go. We'll give her a nice tamp. Got both machines going on. I don't know if this is enough, but let's see. So we do that again. Sometimes it's, it clumps up, but not quite enough. We'll just do a tiny bit more. One thing you, like I always say to remember, screw this on, because they have like walked around just grinding. The coffee just going everywhere anyway. Yeah, that should give us enough. Voila. We'll just do that in advance for a good idea. There we go. This is this funny little spoon I bought on um, Kickstarter. These Italian guys made it that so you could stir in sugar and not mess up your cream. It's kind of silly, but they're cool anyway. And I like the little thing. Okay, so the machines are on. Let's see here. Let's do. Let's do a couple combo cups. We'll save that. And let's go get something to um, steam up some milk. All right, we're just going to fire these babies up. We'll steam a little milk too. We'll do the whole thing. I like to keep my, um, you know, this a little moist, you know, just to clean those and things like that. These are those pretty cool claws you get them here and there. Anyway, yeah. So we're going along good because it's a lot of fun to make these coffees. It's not really a workflow or, you know, the word work doesn't really go into it, right? Maybe that's one of those um, funny words, the trust funders. All right, there we go. We're almost there. We're going to race and see um, who's first with who will hit the one bar and pop the little steamer first. Would be Misty Blue. Miss Candido. Misty Blue does. This could lose us a little bit quicker by about a quarter bar or so. There we go. So we'll go have to steam on her. You know, this is just my um, steaming technique. It's not the end all, but I just watch how it comes out. Sometimes it needs to go a little deeper and sometimes up by the end. So I just watch how it comes out and how much of a hurry I'm in. Oh, yeah, there goes Miss Candida. There we go there, about 140, I this little thermometer, so sometimes I get better, but it's always good. You know, sometimes your milk's different, and I like to just wipe this off if you can right now with a damp cloth. It saves you later on, and like this one got a little dirty because I didn't wipe it that good. But there we go, so let's go to the next step. We'll just bring these back, well, we're going to bring Misty Blue back up. This one's coming up right now, but... Yeah, there's no work involved. It's really fun. It's like a little operation. Getting the milk steam. That's fun. We're out here on the cart in the afternoon. Ah, right back up. 
no worries and let's just go ahead and make these you know we don't ever stage anything so like here I might not have tamped them quite enough on this one but that's all right you know what they're going to come out good anyway let's fire this one down it's a little light on the handle I went I was a little light on the tamp but is it going to make that much difference maybe not because I can go a little slower and perhaps um, adjust to the same effect and there we go on that one so let's just switch over go semi two-handed this one's a tiny bit heavier tamp I, you know when I'm out here I'm using this mousse it's a lighter tamper than the one I use inside so I, I always have to remember to tamp a little harder same as you get used to your tamper and if you switch between the weights you know some people might get all crazy about that and have different tampers for things but that's good but yeah the little better tamping gives a little better look on top look at that and this is miss Mitch mismatch hey and then this is the one that was a little lighter I should have tamped this a tiny bit more so it didn't get quite as nice a look but you know what, it's still going to be good. And just like we always have these, we have a little uh, latte. So. We usually use the bigger cups, but this is, you know, what we do like all the time. Just so you can see, you know, frills or anything like that. But la, voila. We got two lovely lattes there, perfect for the afternoon. Turn the machines off, you don't need to let them sit there and idle anymore. We'll turn them back on. They use, we want to steam, use a little more water than this one, but there we go. The two great machines, we just watched them. In now that Bobo can come out and have a coffee, we'll have a little afternoon coffee. and Yeah, there's no work involved, it's all flow. We got two nice coffees now. and. It's a good afternoon, so that's about it on this one. We got all kinds of exciting stuff coming up too, and um, the next show, Ruth is going to do the coffees. Uh, amazing enough, she's never done the La Pavoni, just because I'm always in there, but she has done some other coffee makers. And we have a little duel off with these other machines we have. And yeah, it's all going pretty good. Uh, you know, you can go on Patreon if you want, where, you know, just for the around the world. And if not, we also have Etsy, and you can, you know, you see the links in here, and you can go in there and buy something too. La Pavoni 15, 15% off, but yeah, there we go, no workflow. You know, I don't, it's like some trust funder thought of that term just to pretend he's doing work, right? Because, um, yeah, they're not working, they're just goofing around all day, but anyway, I do work a lot, so, but I'm used to it, that's just the way it is, and um, yeah. Express, we have a lot. What else do we have coming up? Well, we have um, a couple travel shows. But anyway, this is the workflow special. Uh, no work involved at all, just all flow and, and super fun. So we're out with the cart on the deck in the afternoon, a little sunnier today. The fires and the rain has let up a little. So, yeah, cheers. Hey, Dewey. Where's Uta? <laughs> I'm looking for trying to find her for a coffee. Let's see, is she in the backyard? Nope, not here. Let's go track her down, see where she's at. We had a big puffy board in the hallway. Where's Bobo? Aha, there's Lola. There you are. And I have your coffee. Let's take a break. I found her. Anyway, that's it. This was the extra show. They're just doing chores while I'm making the weird little coffee videos. Right, okay. we're gonna bake a cake too, probably uh, another apple cake. All right, that's it again. There you go. Yeah, there you go.